citizens of right. the United States. Legal citizens, right. Legal citizens, right. The people who have come here legally, you know, who not who here come here legally with with proper visa, they spent they they spent the money to gain the paperwork to get actually become an American citizen, not these illegal immigrants who actually want free stuff, free health care, free Obamacare. Mm -hmm. No, no, the the guy the, the people come in here, they go through the process, going through um uh going through the the you, you know, embassies, United States embassy, getting your proper visa, doing the right thing. These people are being punished. But not the illegal immigrants, the people who are coming here on document. Oh no, they're not being punished. The people who are coming here legally with with um, intentions to become an American citizen with a proper passport, they're being taxed right now. They're being taxed. We are being taxed. We are. Oh, no. We we are we, we are losing our we are, we're losing. Uh, we're basically scraping by basically. Illegal aliens are getting more than what our own vets are getting. I know, that's, that's something. A that's a sin. They're getting more than, than the senior citizens. Yep. One's on Social Security, and I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. And because of the illegal aliens, there was not an increase this past year, mm -hmm. in January. Right. Because if they gave it to the senior citizens that are on Medicare, they're on uh, Social Security, rather, then... Um, it w they wouldn't be able to give it to the illegal aliens mm -hmm. the way they do. Right. And it's, you know, they think more about them than they do about their own citizens of the right. United States, their own veterans of the United States mm -hmm. that fought in wars, that where some of them died. Yeah, it's, they've got it completely backwards to how it should be. Well, well and here's the thing, too. Uh, Ted Cruz, and his, and his dad is right, he said, you know, if we lose our freedom, where we go to? Who do we depend on? You know, and now Donald Trump made another accusation this past week. He put, he he on on D Day, on D Day Monday, the the seventy two anniversary of D Day. Fox News did not mention this. We did. We're the only networks to put it up there. Donald Trump accused his father for being a German officer. Killing Nazis. That's correct. He tweeted this. We posted up, and our and our page was taken down because of this. Our everything we posted up, our links, our our uh, the uh, the um, where, where we got the information from, the tweet that we actually cropped. We not didn't crop it, but we we copied it. We pasted it. We copied it, and we pasted it. That was deleted. Unbelievable. Donald, this is from Donald Trump's words. There was no mention of this from Fox News or any other radio program at all whatsoever. Ted Cruz's father was a German officer killing Nazis. A kill, no, German officers are killing Jews. A German officer killing Jews. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't fathom how you could fault Donald Trump for... for well, it's like Donald Trump. His father he, did. Well, D Donald Trump also uh, accused his father of this. Is from the uh, what? If the uh, what was this saying? What was what was this from? It was uh, oh, the National Enquirer. The National Enquirer. Remember this story? National Enquirer reported that Donald Trump's father was a conspiracy for the assassination of JFK. And he turned it around and made it look like it was Ted's father. Right. You know something? Amazing. You know something? Amazing. I was on that was on May third. That's when that's, he that's, that's yeah. the one that was when he was uh, that's the day I don't that Ted Cruz is gonna uh was gonna try to win Indiana. They could have he could have won. If, 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 if the news media report the way we're reporting it. If, if his father, if, if Donald Trump's father was guilty of being a, a, a Nazi officer, a German officer in the Nazi camp, killing Jews, why was he not arrested and tried? No, his, no this, is, this is Ted Cruz's father. Donald Trump's accusing Ted Cruz's father for doing this. 
That's what I'm saying. Ted, Ted Cruz's father was not even alive. That's right. Yeah, Donald Trump made his accusation. Donald Trump said that Ted Cruz's father was a German was not it was a German officer killing Nazis. This oh, is, he accused Ted's father of that. Yeah, he did. This I like, thought he was accusing his own father. No, he no, it's Ted Cruz's father. No, remember he this is the same thing that a National Choir did on May third. Then remember Donald Trump accused Ted's Ted's father of being the, the, the assassination of JFK. Remember that? And now on D Day. Yeah. D Day this past Monday, uh, Donald Trump accused Ted's father, Ted Cruz's father, for being a German officer killing Nazis. Mm. Not, that that. There you go. Ted's father was was not even alive during World War Two. I know. I know, but that's that's Trumpy for you. What are you gonna do? That's Trumpy for you. We're going to do. I mean, we, we, the Fox News have refused to put this on the air. They have. They even the National Choir store. They actually um, took the videos down. Remember the the videos that uh, um, saying that Ted Cruz that Ted Cruz's father was a conspiracy for um, uh, JFK's assassination. Remember that the National Choir store, and they reneged on that. We still have the videos of this, though. We kept it. We kept the videos, and we. And we knocked the crap out of Fox News, and because of this, this is why we're going to have this coming this the, 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 this December. Walmart is coming to us. They drop they drop their uh, endorsement or their advertisement to, to from Fox News to us, so they actually came to us. So we appreciate Walmart this coming Christmas. We got the exclusive Walmart commercials on our our, our on our network, and. Um, that's a, that's a multi-million dollar contract, so we appreciate that. We really do. So, but we won't get that the revenue until after until after the new year. So, um, but anyway, uh, this looks like it's going to be a really good year for us for next year. Really great year. Um, so we're look we we're, look, we're looking ahead in the future, but um, for right now, we definitely uh, you know struggling finan financial right now. I can imagine. So, um, but like I said, with companies always money like uh, like uh, um, AT and T, Bank America, uh, uh, you know uh, Dodge of Bellevue, you know it's it's just ridiculous. It's just outrageous that these companies not paying us. To, to, we're putting it, we're putting this on the air. We're putting it out there, and not paying us for it. That's unbelievable. You think they would? You think it'd be it'd be nice enough? That's what we we did. What we did to send you a copy of the invoice that we did, and you know, and uh, it's just it's like, hello. I mean, this is our is no plagiarism. This our is uh, this is our um this is this is our invoices. Nobody else's. Not our signature. For 2016, this is us. So it just is this unfortunate. Was it's this really unfortunate? What's happening to this country? It really is. It's sad. We're losing this freedom. Yeah. If we're losing our ability to think anymore, you know, the ability to be united, one nation under God. You can't even say that anymore at schools anymore. I don't, I don't get it. You can't even do it at prayer at schools. You can't even hand that. You can't even hand out Bibles at all the friends in, in high school. And is this is this outrageous? Yes, it is, and and they're they're trying to steal our First Amendment, which is basically you know freedom of speech, uh, freedom of religion. Mm -hmm. and, and Donald it, Trump and Donald Trump himself they away with it. and Donald Trump himself said, "I want to take in God we trust out." Remember, he said that. All I take, I want to take out the word in God we trust. Now, how can you be a Christian and say you want to remove in God we trust? Right. How can you be a Christian and say that? I know. You, it, it, it's trying to, to play both parties, both sides of the line, and you can't. You can't do that. But see, I got a tweet saying this. I got a tweet saying this. this Donald, look at the tweet from Donald Trump. You're actually, the guy is this. Uh, I don't, I'm not. If he's bipolar, I don't know. I mean, if he's, if he's bipolar, he's not, he's not fit to be president. He's not qualified. No, he, he isn't. And that's what exactly. He, he, Newt Gingrich said that the, the person who needs to be president, Donald Trump, is not qualified enough to be president. Even now, Laura Ingram said this too. By the way, now there's now they're coming up. Now they're coming aboard.